What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on the Archer and we are level 54, 64 and a half percent of the way through. Here is the gear that we're working with now. Plus 10 Kriya, Raygon, plus 15 as well, plus one Bastyr Great Bow, and then all of the stuff off of my Sorceress because I decided now I have to finish this today because obviously full release of PlayStation 4 comes out tomorrow. So we have to finish this up today. So we are going to be here at Helms doing this quest, and that's going to be the episode. And then later today, I will have the other episode up um, going over getting to 56. I sure think I can get it. I mean, I guess there's no guarantee that I'm going to get it. I hate that ability sometimes. That ability tilts me. It, like, doesn't... Once it cools down, I'll show you. It, like, doesn't sometimes when you throw it. Come on, there we go. When you throw it, it like, th like, right there, that was the proper height. But sometimes it throws it, like, 10 million feet in the air. And it's like, well, I don't know what you want me to do with that game. I far, obviously, because I have more skills with it and whatnot, but I far prefer the, uh, the crossbow to the bow. That's just the way. It, yeah, see, like right there, that was a decently thrown one. It was, it was a little off target because I'm, I was up on the, I was up on the thing, but it's still that was a lot better than the, the previous like two that it did. Not exactly what I wanted to do there. I'm still trying to get used to this. I'm very good at using a bunch of the different skills, but they don't actually flow too well when I use them. Okay, can I get unstuck game, please? Thank you. Like, right there, that was a good, that was a good shot of that. It's just kind of, I don't know, it just feels a little bit random on when it, when it does what you want it to do and when it doesn't. And I just got knocked out of my soaring thing. Yeah, like, right there, that was perfect. That was exactly where you want it. But then sometimes it, like, chucks it into another dimension. It's, it's, like, way too high. And I don't quite get it. I have started to use this ability more to clear out the single enemies and also buy me half a second to get my stamina back. There's a person here. Can't wait to get killed. I did absolutely... I was at Abandoned Iron Mines for like an hour. And this dude spent the whole hour like trying to compete with me for kills. And so for like the first 20 minutes he wasn't getting like any so I didn't care. Then he started being, like, super annoying with it, so then I had to I had to PvP him, and I think I killed him, like, four or five times before he finally, before I finally left, because I didn't need to be there anymore. Might go back to Abandoned Iron Mine, because, the ex like, that was perfect, only it did no damage. Because when I'm going to, I'm going to obviously do the story, and then we'll see where I am at that point. I expect to be relatively close to where I want to be, but I don't actually know. I'm hoping I will be good to go, but who knows. Because we're going to get to 55 here, but then 55 to 56 is, is the hard part. We're going to get 55 in this episode. I'm 90% sure. I want to go to my spot that I like, which is across the street. It's less... It's less crowded. It's still kind of crowded, but it's it's less crowded, I guess I should say. Why is that not dealing any damage? We can also take a look at the skills at the end of this episode when I hit 55. Hello, die, please. Oh my gosh. That's the one thing I have a problem with the bow. Is it just... With it not being able... With, with me not being able to really get one to plus 15 easily. Because I'm not 56. It's kind of... I mean, it's like viable. But then again, it's like not that good. That is by far the best attack that I have. The LTX ability, that is by far the best thing that I have right now. 
in terms of dealing damage. It's not, like, fantastic, but it's it's enough. Like, the bow. I, it, I don't know. I try to incorporate the bow because it's something else for me to use. But it just... Just a little bit lacking because I can't get a really good one. And this ability is just not very good. For, for, for the wind-up, for the wind-up that I have to do for it, it's just not very good. I do like that skill, but it's not very good either. Dash through them. I will summon the Black Spirit and either accept the next quest or get the next quest. So, like, this one, it... Like, it didn't even kill that guy. It's, like, so iffy. It can be good. Like, I have some decent success with it. But it's just not as good as I wish it was, I guess. Is that a... Okay, I still gotta defeat Helm's people. Okay, that's good. Go over here to the bigger cluster. That's by far the best ability for the bow, is the one where you jump. That one's not bad either, but the one where you jump is definitely by far the best. And it's not particularly close. There's one that does, like, chain lightning, but that one's, like, I don't know. That one's kind of finicky. I have to move on faster. Stop trying to kill single enemies. I wish I would stop. That's one thing that I, I have to stop doing. When I when I do the um, the jump attack, way too often am I doing the back, the uh, meteor's dive. Or wait, yeah, meteor's dive. I'm doing meteor's dive like way too much off of off of using the jump attack because I'm like, it's just the way I'm doing it. Like when I jump, I, I'm holding the back button here and then it creates, it creates that issue where I'm, I'm then uh, doing the meteor's dive after I do my one attack. And with that attack. That attack is, like, finicky. It did a bunch of damage to the guy behind that guy, but it did, like, no damage to the guy in front that I hit. And I just whiffed, I just whiffed all those attacks. Hello? Alright, gotta keep moving. My Pretty much my play style with the archer has just become a... a mess of seeing how quickly I can move around and buy time to use my abilities that take a second to charge. Pretty much all I do now. Which, I mean, it's it's effective. It gets the job done, but it's a little, it's a little iffy of a playstyle. But I did like the archer's viability in PvP. The, the guy wasn't... I don't think he had the... I had a clearly higher DP because I have all my stuff from my Sork on this character. But in terms of AP, I think he had higher AP. But I was able to kind of mitigate some damage by being able to... My movement kept him at bay. He really did struggle with my movement. Not that my movement is amazing or anything, but just the movement of the archer. Because, you know, when you're doing this attack, you're, you're constantly moving. And even with a lot of the attacks like... Like the Meteor's Dive and the Wing of Justice, or Wings of Justice, you're moving around a lot. It, it's hard to pinpoint you down and get you kind of in combos and stun locks and stuff like that. Definitely not impossible. Well, not tempt to say it's impossible, but it's really hard because your movement, your movement is kind of not crazy, but your movement creates like really nice viability. It's kind of like it's 
kind of like what the Sorceress has with some of her movement abilities. Like, her back B takes her out of the fight for half a second, and some of her, just some of her abilities are very nice in getting her separation and getting her out of the fight for, ha for, for just a moment, just a brief moment. Buy yourself a little bit of time, regroup, figure out what you want to do next. I was having a hard time with the Meteor's Dive and the Wings of Justice, just using them appropriately and properly over clusters of enemies. But actually gotten a little bit better at that. Gonna actually, see, pop on this double XP. I have these four. That's what I allotted myself on this character is six, I believe. Either five or six. I don't remember if I've used two or three. But I lotted myself those to try to get this character to 56 a little bit faster. And so that's what that's what I'm doing. Trying to get this character all the way to 56. And then we're we're not we're maybe not done for it forever, but we're done with it for a while. I guess that's that's how I'm gonna say it. Not forever, but a while. Definitely when they add more of its absolute skills and some of that different stuff, I'll definitely hop back on and check it out. But for now, don't really have a reason to keep playing it. Since my archer by herself needs lots of upgrades, it's kind of pointless for me to spend a bunch of time on this character right now. And I still think I like Ranger a little bit more. So it's kind of like, it's not a knock against Archer. I just personally, just a personal preference. Really don't have much, it really has nothing to do with Archer. I like Archer. And it's a close toss up between Ranger and Archer. I just think I like Ranger a little bit more. You can though, you can see the, the massive damage changes between the uh, crossbow attacks and the great bow attacks okay so use that skill a lot so we have 52 points i use that skill a lot and i pretty much know what the other skill i'm gonna pick is Let's see if i can get it eh, i'm gonna have to kill these guys kill those guys Gotten a little bit faster at aiming that exactly where I want it. Was taking me like a while and it was kind of like useless attack when you're sitting there aiming it for like three seconds. Okay, they're dead. Let's get our skills back up here. This one's not bad. It, it goes... I mean, I've been using that skill more, so it's not, like, terrible. Uh, yeah, this is the one that I definitely gotta pick up. It used up all my skill points, but I use that thing a crap ton. Ooh, that's actually really nice, and that got us to 55. What's the experience looking like now? Let me go over here and kill this group. Uh, it's not bad experience. Not bad experience at all towards 56. Should be able to get this easy by progressing the story. And just farming a little bit. I should be able to progress it fairly quickly. Maybe it'll take me a little bit longer than I expect, but I did farm... See, I did the smart thing, which is what I'll be doing on all of my characters from now on. I spent a little time at Abandoned Iron Mine... I spent like an hour there of double XP, which pretty much, I mean, I spent an hour there with double XP at level 50, or no, 51. I was almost 52. It was close, but I spent an hour there, and I went from 51 and like 80% to 54, which was really good. And while I'm kind of close to beating the campaign right now, 
Um, or at least the campaign I'll be able to do on this character. I, uh, I don't have, obviously, that much farther to go to get to 56. And then, yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> Should be an easy wrap-up to this character. And pretty much that's the, I pretty much have my whole entire run-through for characters to get to 56 all figured out. It's not, it's not too difficult. It's pretty easy, actually. So it's like, you do the story all the way until you get to Naga's. And then literally, I'm not even kidding, to Naga's and Far Fa Falcons. You spend like 15 minutes. It's not even that much. I'm not even, I'm not like saying spend an hour there. Like 15 extra minutes at both of those. Really helps. Okay, so you spend the extra 15 minutes there. And then... You just completely do the story. You don't have to farm anything. Just do the story all the way up until Catfishmen. And then when you get to Catfishmen, what you want to do... You want to be close to 50 when you get to Catfishmen. I guess I should probably say that. I want to be like 49 and a half when I get to Catfishmen. But at Catfishmen, there's the dailies there. And all you want to do is do the dailies. You don't even have to do all of them. The one where it wants you to kill 300, I don't do that one anymore. Um, so you can ignore that one. And that that gives you enough experience to hit 50. And then you just do the story until Abandoned Iron Mines. And then you spend an hour at Abandoned Iron Mines. And that gets you to 54. Then you come to Helms. Because the story is going to bring you to Helms anyway. And you do, like, 45 minutes to an hour at Helms with double XP. And voila, you should hit 56 by the time you finish the story. Or be relatively close. Or maybe you just have to go spend a little bit of time at thousands or something like that. But you're really close, that's the point. Is that you're really close to your goal. Okay, for some reason I was struggling to kill that guy. That's actually pretty good loot from those guys. I get out of the corner? Slice that guy. And so, yeah, I'm probably just gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna spend any more time here if I'm just gonna go. I think I have to go to Elric Shrine anyway. So that'll be halfway decent experience. So I don't think I need to spend, like, hours here. I think I still have to go to Elric's, and I think it's gonna send me one other place. And then it might be kind of... I haven't gone to mains yet. And I haven't gone to this... Uh, I haven't gone to the skeletons of pure death. But the good thing is, even though it'll take me a while to kill those things, because my gear is kind of trash, I won't die because my defensive gear is really good. I guess that's, that's the positive. Kill those guys. We'll get to 5%, and then we will call it an episode some enemies here that's the better one that is by far the better one the better one is with the crossbow they both have those like um they both have those aoe attacks that um what am i trying to say they both have those like aoe attacks that go straight through enemies like a piercing arrow but the the, the the crossbow one is just far better. What is happening? Can I get out of those strings? What am I doing? Don't kill one enemies. It's just a waste of time. I do. I have to work on that. I'm, I'm like really bad about that. Like look at that. That's so much better. And then you can follow it up with a shot. It's almost a shotgun with the crossbow. It's so good. Definitely my favorite ability. But we got to 5%, so I think that's a good place to call the episode for, not today, but the episode for this video. And check back later today, we'll get the archer up to 56. And, um, yeah, then check back tomorrow morning, obviously, for, uh, whatchamacallit, PS4 release. Because I'll be on at 3 a.m. To, to play that. And so, obviously, structure will be similar to the Sorceress, but a little bit different in its own right. So, I hope you guys will join me for that, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
these cars.